Welcome to The Basement, everybody. I'm your host, 90s Basement Kid. Now, I know I said I was going to wait to rank all the movies I watched during quarantine, but since it is Halloween season, I decided, you know, I was going to watch all the Halloween movies just to kind of see how I feel about them. And so I'm going to make that video now because, hey, you know, happy Halloween, everyone. So this is my rankings. This is my personal rankings of all the Halloween movies from worst to first. So I'm just going to get started. So to me, the worst one is gotta be Halloween 5. The movie just sucks, I gotta be honest, it's boring. Um, you know, they're coming off of Halloween 4, which had a little bit of momentum going, kinda, you know, with the return of Michael Myers and everything, but they just, they squandered every good opportunity to make this into anything interesting, just, I'll put it like that. You know, I'm not gonna go into great detail, but it's definitely the most boring Halloween movie, you know, so, I mean, that's gonna say it all there. Next, we have Halloween Resurrection, which I know is the one that most people are probably going to have as their worst, and I, I can definitely see why. However, you know, to me, there's a few things about it that are kind of interesting and well done. Um, you know, it's kind of few and far between, to be honest, and I understand that. Um, but I do like the score. I do like the way they treat Michael Myers, obviously, without the Busta Rhymes stuff. And, you know, I do think the kills are fantastic, to be frank. So, to me, it's not the very worst, but it, let's face it, it sucks. Next up, we got... Halloween 2, Rob Zombie's version. That's an important distinction because the actual Halloween 2, I'll get to it later, but Halloween, Rob, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 is just, it sucks, man. You know, it's, I appreciate that he was trying to do some different stuff with it, and apparently he had a hell of a time making the movie because of the studio, but the final product is basically unwatchable, and I'm just going to leave it at that. There's some good kills because it's Rob Zombie, but the movie's not very good. Next up, we got Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. Now, this might be the most hotly debated of the Michael Myers Halloween movies. You know, I know a lot of people really love this movie, um, but i not necessarily one of them. I do think it has a certain charm to it, um, especially, you know, the theatrical version. Um, the producers of producer's cut and a theatrical cut, in case you didn't know that, they're pretty much equally as shitty to be honest but hey it's got paul it's got paul rudd in it so that's worth something right next up we got halloween 3 season of the witch now this one does not have michael myers in it and it's a lot of people's you know least favorite but it also has got a huge cult following of its own to be frank i pretty much will gonna say it's just like middle of the road halloween movie just as far as they're all concerned it's you know, not the worst movie I've ever seen, but it, it's really boring in some parts. And just, like, this story doesn't make sense. It's pretty preposterous. And there's some more stuff about it as well I can go to. But it does have Tom Atkins in it, who is one of my favorite actors for sure. So um, check it out if you really like the Halloween movies. But it's kind of eh. Next up, we have Halloween 4. Now, a lot of people really like this movie. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not necessarily one of them. I do think, you know, there's some things about it I do enjoy. I do think the first, like, 15 minutes of it is exquisite, to be honest. Uh, but after that, it kind of just falls into the plot trappings of, you know, the dumb slasher movie. I do think Michael Myers, the costume, looks really, really cheap and bad. It's not quite as bad as Halloween 5, which would come out less than a year later, but it's almost as bad. To, the costume looks really cheap, guys. It just, I'm sure if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about, but it does have a few good kills and some enjoyable moments, so it's not like the worst of it, but it ain't good either, really. Next up, we have what I begin to consider, you know, the good Halloween movies, the ones that are actually watchable and entertaining, starting with Halloween H2O. Now, I do think this is, you know, kind of the most underrated of the Halloween movies. I don't think, you know, a lot of people don't talk about it, and I think it deserves a lot more love than it gets. You know, it's very similar to the most recent Halloween movie they did, um, the, you know, the reboot, so to speak, uh, as far as story goes, you know, considering Laurie Strode, but, you know, I do like the look of Michael Myers in this. I think it's got some excellent kills. It's a well-told story done simply. You know, they didn't try to overdo it or make it anything it doesn't need to be, and I think because of that, it's actually very entertaining and definitely worth a watch. Next up, we have Rob Zombie's Halloween. Now, um... Bit of a controversial one for a lot of folks. I know a lot of people hate it. A lot of people love it. I personally, I really enjoy it. Um, it's not perfect. Um, in fact, I actually watched the director's cut again recently. And I definitely prefer the theatrical cut for a few scenes. 
that they put in and then took out. And so, you know, it's a whole thing. You can Google it if you want to hear about it. And it's pretty much what you're going to read is how I feel. But I do think it's mostly really well done. Um, it's, you know, someone's interesting take on the mythology and the lore of Michael Myers. And the kills are just outstanding, man. They are among the best of anything in the series. Rob Zombie knows how to make someone die, to put it honestly. Great characters, great story. Um, well, I mean, the story's okay. It's basically the same one, but I thought he did a pretty good job with it. You know, it's definitely one of the better horror remakes for sure. Uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween, you should check it out if you haven't seen it in a while. Next up, we get the reboot, the most recent one, you know, Halloween, as it's called, from 2018. Now, this is a fantastic movie, I gotta be honest. Um, it's not perfect. Uh, I thought the ending was a bit rushed and some other things, but everything else is so well done. You know, Jamie Lee Curtis is amazing in the movie. Um, Everyone, you know, the acting is outstanding. The story is really well done. The kills are good. Um, you know, it's, you know, the score is great, you know, because they brought back John Carpenter, which is a huge plus for that movie. And I enjoyed it immensely. I'm really looking forward to the sequels it's going to bring. And it's definitely among the best of the Halloween franchise. Next up, we have the original Halloween 2, which to me is one of the most underrated, not just horror movies, but, um, you know, slasher movies in general, especially horror sequels, I think it's very underrated. Now, I will admit, it is sort of dependent upon having just seen Halloween 1, which is a bit of a flaw as far as a standalone for that movie, but hey, you watch Halloween, and then watch Halloween 2, and it's a great double feature. You're going to have a great time. You know, this is the movie that, um, you know, it's the people that made the movie don't seem to like it, which is unfortunate because, you know, I think they did a very good job with it. Um, and this is what introduces, you know, the whole Lois Stode is Michael Myers' sister thing. And obviously people have their feelings about that. But I think the movie itself is very well done. And it's definitely one of my favorite horror movies. And then, of course, last but not least, the original Howling, guys, of course. I mean, you know, it's one of the greatest horror movies ever made, if not one of the greatest movies ever made. Um, it's one of my all-time favorites. You know, I watch it every single year on Halloween. Um, I probably will until, you know, barring anything unforeseen. But it's one of my favorite movies ever. I can't recommend it enough. Um, I could talk about it, you know, for minutes and hours on end about how great it is. But just, you know, to put it in a nutshell, the cinematography, the directing, and the music, all of it's so good. Um, John Carpenter's a legend and a master. Jimmy Lee Curtis, you know, really kills it in that role. And that's why, you know, it's made her who she is today. But, you know, if you've never seen Halloween by any chance and you're watching this, watch the original Halloween. Do yourself a favor. It's great. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much. Um, this has been another episode of Basement Kid. We'll be having some more stuff very soon, guys. And uh, enjoy your Halloween. Stay spooky, folks. <laughs>